So I guess I'm just gonna use my Dremel, cut through it into a spider pattern, and let's go through the top. Cause I'm too lazy to go back. So that's the pattern I have. I'm just gonna get, uh, I'm just gonna hammer those things down, bend them outwards. Uh, that way I could fit uh, the PVC pipe through it. So I really just want this thing right here to go through, All right? So I have this coupler go down, that will fill in the hole, and then I can just, I'll probably throw two of these down there, one on top, and then one on the bottom coming up this way, so that it's exposed when you look through it when I put the pipe in between, so at least it's an open pipe with an easy coupler link right here for a one and I, I overkilled it. It really don't. I think you just need a one inch tubing, but I figured I want all my sewage to just dump down hella fast into my reservoir tank. So I'm gonna just uh, use this one and one quarter uh, couplers in all the holes I make at the bottom of this bus. And then that way I'll use whatever reducer or adapter in here underneath the bus coming up so here's my purpose like i said i don't know what i'm doing honestly i'm just a designer so i know that i just have it to fit like right around here and i really just have to have it so that it's kind of rested there i'm probably gonna you know i'll epoxy this sucker in have it permanent but once this is down i want this exposed right here so i could just easily slip up another one and and a quarter tubing with a reducer and have it fit and connect probably underneath this bus frame coming out this way. I'm going to follow it all through the back just so I can hit the other side, which is where my water heater right here is. So, like I said, no planning, no experience. Don't ask anyone about this. The only experience I have is building stuff throughout the years with my father and uncles and things so we built houses decks never attempted this kind of thing put plumbing in but like i said i'm trying to do this according to like say a, a boat like say standard so all the stuff i'm buying for this bus i'm i'm trying to do it to like on a you know a boat standard since a lot of the stuff i see at camping world looks like it would totally fail like wind tests and such so uh, hopefully this works out. Um, only my drainage, I'm using PVC. I know I should probably use a black pipe or whatever what, but like I said, I don't really care. Uh, this is long as this is really just going to be for my laundry drop. And, uh, once I set that out, it'll just go to the main reservoir, which I'm going to install most likely on the other side where most of the weight won't be trying to see what sides I have. So we have a water tank on this side. I'm trying to see if I could stick in the middle, but unfortunately this frame is in here. Um, and I can't have anything mess with these, uh, this tubing. So I'm gonna have to probably put it on this side or this side and then use one of that as storage. Anyways. Uh, Till the next video, I'll have this thing cut out in a few hours or less than an hour. I'm going to approach it from the top with a hammer and a big screwdriver, bend this stuff out. Then I'm going to cut it around with the Dremel. Uh, I did have this cutter to begin with, which did a lot of the heavy work. I use air tools sometimes too, but as you can see, it's really hard to get like a, a really good circle around here. I didn't want to buy a diamond drill hole saw just to go through the bottom, which I might just do for convenience, I guess. So, but I'm really just cutting little spider patterns that, 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 coming from the top, bending them down so it kind of goes into a little flower pattern right there. Then I'll cut around in a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just need to have the coupler right there. So, anyways, till next time like subscribe I'm trying to going really fast with this uh, April is my 
deadline. I'm trying to hit it. 